I'm building the slowest possible team in all of Madden 24, starting with our tight end number one. So literally all I have to do is scroll over to the speed tab and click X to sort, and this should give us the slowest tight end in all of Madden 24. It goes to Patrick Scales. Oh no, dude, I think we've unlocked a long snapper. That's our tight end one, which that might actually be, you know, the worst possible start, especially with the squad at a 10 overall with a 19 offense. Hopefully at least some of this team is a little bit better. I'm sure you've noticed that we chose the Chiefs, but with a completely blank roster, because with the Chiefs being one of Madden's favorite teams, we're going to sim this season with the slowest possible team and see if the Chiefs playbook can lead the team to a Cinderella season. Even if the talent really isn't there, since these are actually long snappers, I'm going to scroll until I find the slowest actual tight end and he'll be tight end too. And that actually brings us to Mercedes Lewis. Makes sense that he's the slowest tight end with 71 speed because he's only almost 40 years old. And there's also this tight end in free agency that's also 71 speed. So he'll join the tight end room. This has got to be the strangest start to a team builder that I've ever seen. But hey, that's what we're here for. Which let's see if the team gets any weirder as we get our defensive ends. Beginning with the right end position. Hopefully the slowest right end is actually kind of good. He's atrocious. He's actually a Tennessee Titan with 57 speed. Oh, this team might not win a single game. Behind him, we actually have Jordan Riley here, who has 63 speed, but lower acceleration and agility than Eli Anku. I can already tell his team's gonna be incredible. Some out there might would say this is depressing. We've just gotta pray that we have better luck with the left end position. Come on, please, dear God, give me better luck here. I mean, this is still terrible. 59 speed. At least that rating makes me happy. And behind him, we have, I'm not even gonna try. With the 62 speed, another player we're adding under. 70 overall. I mean, I guess technically the left side is better than the right, but I have a decent feeling we'll at least get a half decent overall at defensive tackle. Although somehow that brought the overall up to 73. How is this offense 83 overall? That makes sense. Now your slowest defensive tackle in the NFL is... Brian Money? Definitely not the caliber defensive tackle I was expecting. And behind his 57 speed, we have Jonathan Hankins with 58. Finally, we get to add a defender over 70. I mean, I think it's safe to say that's the worst D-line in the NFL. But maybe this O-line I'm about to assemble can help the teams overall a bit. You don't necessarily have to be fast to be a good offensive lineman. Starting with the center position. And our slowest center in the NFL. Oh, God. Hold on a second, though. Hold on a second. Brock Hoffman with his 56 speed is also tied with Nicholas Gates and Sam Mustafer, which the slowest is by far Sam with his 58 Excel and 54 Agility. I mean, 56 speed isn't anything to get happy about, but it could be much worse than a 70 overall, which that also means Nicholas Gates here is going to be the backup. I'll take every 70 overall I can get. Can we possibly get our first 80 overall? No! Calvin Throck Monster with his 53 speed. Barely is slower than an 83 overall. This would have been huge. But this guy's kind of a legend on the channel, so not too mad at adding him. Just means Michael here is going to have to be the backup. And let's go ahead and add our left guard. The right guard position showed us there's potential. Please just give me our first 80 overall of the day. How are you an NFL player with 50 speed? I mean, although he's slow, at least we get to add another player over 70 overall. Overall. And as his backup, once again, we were so close to add an absolute stud. But Antonio Moffi here with his 55 speed has to be the backup. Which so far, this isn't the best offensive line. It might not even be an average offensive line, but at least it's for sure not the worst out there. With how bad this team started, I really hope our quarterback can end up saving us. Can't imagine who we'd get as the slowest running back and slowest receivers. Let's round out the offensive line first, starting with right tackle. Can you please give us our first 80 plus player no not even close the slowest is actually daniel here with his 52 speed 46 excel and 39 agility safe to say daniel's not agile i mean his freaking backup sucks too i hope to god dude the left tackle position can save us i mean laramie tunsil here only has 64 speed so maybe there is a shot yo orlando brown thank god 
God, you're slow. Orlando with this 51 speed finally gives us our first player over 80 overall. Thank God he's a 51 because Caleb here's a 52. Safe to say I didn't want Caleb protecting our blind side. As I said, there's definitely not the absolute worst line in the league, which after that has our overall sitting at 71 with a 76 offense, which hopefully we can improve the defense here by assembling our linebacker core, beginning with the left outside linebacker. I would just absolutely love for like a 90 overall to pop up out of nowhere, and that's for sure a no. To have Ward with this 69 speed and 68 overall, we actually had ourselves Aaron Rodgers' nemesis, and behind him it gets worse. No shot, Zach. Van Valakenberg's a real person, so not the best of starts at linebacker. Hopefully the right side here is a little more kind to us. Come on, there's gotta be a good right outside linebacker that's a little slow. Speed doesn't mean everything. Malik Ham, that's who we're adding. 74 speed, 62 overall. Why couldn't you be fast, Malik? The backup's no better with Kingsley Ignagbury. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be a 67 overall. Let's just go straight to middle linebacker. Because this position's gotta save our linebacker core. God. We have to add Nate Landman in a 77 speed. I wonder if he ever goes in the water. And thank God the backup's not the starter. With his 78 speed, Chandler Wooten and his 55 overall is gonna be the backup. Yeah, fellas, I have uh, no comment on that. Although the team overall is hanging on a little bit at 71. Although the defense is below 70 now. Hopefully the safety positions can make that a little better. Although I'm so worried about the secondary in general because if you're slow in the secondary, you're probably not good. Come on, free safety, please be good to me. Honestly, like a 75 overall, and I will take that. Oh my god, we struck gold. Sean Gibson, thank you for your 84 speed. Like honestly, in this video, a 79 feels like a 99. I mean, behind him's not horrible either. Ron Harmon with the 75 speed, at least to the 74 overall. I mean, we are kind of building the old folks home here. That actually brought the teams overall up a little bit. Defense up to 68. If we can get the teams overall up to at least like a 75, this team maybe just maybe could go on a Mickey Mouse playoff run. Hopefully the strong safety position will help us out. Honestly, I'll take anybody over a 70 overall. 70 and I'm fine. This one kind of hurts. I thought we'd get 76 Rodney, but Dean Marlowe here, same speed, but has lower excel and agility. So Dean is going to be our starting strong safety with Rodney here as the backup. I mean, at least our safeties are better than our linebackers. Well, let's pause this depression for just a second because I want to go and add our kicker and punter. Hopefully speed doesn't mean much at those positions. The slowest punter in the NFL, AJ Cole has 65. So maybe just maybe we actually land the best punter in the league. Oh God, we were so close. But Presley here only has 60 speed. I forgot about him being a thick boy. Please tell me we can get like an 80 overall kicker. You don't have to be fast to be a good kicker. I mean, I'll take Nicholas. 64 speed with only 13 better kickers. In comparison to my expectations, I give this like a 6 out of 10. Let's go ahead and find our fullback before things really get serious. We have a chance to get a good one here. Patrick Reichardt has 69 speed, but is that the slowest in the game? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I got teased again. He's tied for the slowest with Jakob Johnson. Oh my god, Jakob has worse excel and agility. I'm actually going to add Patrick too to be our back up fullback. I'm the head coach. I can add two fullbacks if I want. Now, before we do find out who our quarterback, running back, and receivers are, I think it's the perfect time to go ahead and round out this secondary. Hopefully, we have as much luck as I had with our safeties. Although, it does worry me. Like, I feel like you need to be fast to be a good corner. But our cornerback, number one, is going to be Darion Kendrick. 85 speed. Like, I guess it could be worse than a 70 overall. And it does get worse because Najee Thompson here is going to be cornerback too. And he's all 58 freaking overall. We might give up 10,000 passing yards as a team this year. And behind him, we're going to have Eric Scott and Arthur Mollette as our three and four. And this guy is going to be our five. Definitely not the optimal corner depth. All I have to say about this defense, man, is like, I really hope we don't have to play the Dolphins. Like, this is basically an XFL defense. But there's still hope because maybe the team's quarterback, running back, or receivers could save us. 
which regardless how bad the team is, maybe running the Chiefs offense and defense could save this team. But starting with the running back position, which I have a bad, bad feeling there might not be that many good slow running backs. Just please, please be a 70. Oh God, save me. Britton Brown, how on earth are you an NFL running back with 83 speed? You'd be better off on the line. Which the backup Tony Jones isn't much better. And behind him, Brandon Bolden also with his 86 speed will be the number three. You know, definitely not the dream running back room that I was expecting, but I hope to God the receivers are better than the running backs. I mean, as long as my wide receiver one is at least like a 70 overall, that is better than the worst case scenario by far. Our wide receiver one for the slowest team in the NFL is going to be, oh God. Jake Bobo, rookie receiver for the Seahawks has 78 speed. That's slower than most outside linebackers in this game, but the funny thing is Jake's actually decent. Our wide receiver is not too much better. We get Lil Jordan Humphrey with 82 speed. Oh, I'm expecting a massive season from this 66 overall. Although quite the improvement of wide receiver three with Justin Ross. At least we get a receiver over 72 overall. Yay, at wide receiver four, we get Brandon Johnson. And at wide receiver five, we barely miss out on Michael Thomas because we got to go with Brandon Powell here. I mean, at least he's better than some of the other guys. Not really the wide receiver room that I wanted either, which the last two positions have actually brought our teams overall down to 71 one with a 73 offense. The only thing that can save this squad is the quarterback position. Honestly, like a 75 overall plus would feel like a 99 here. Mike White here with the 70 speed is gonna be the backup. But the quarterback number one for the slowest team in all of football, Brian Hoyer. Brian with his 64 speed is 60 overall. Like honestly, we might lose every single game. This offense might not would even make the XFL playoffs. I need to do a free agency audit real quick though and see if I missed any slow available free agents. Rex Burkhead's actually here to save us. I completely missed this demon at a free agency with his blazing 82 speed, which is slow enough to take the starting spot. Oh no! This guy has officially ruined my day. Safe to say this is gonna drop the old overall. Saved again! Gabe Jackson at right guard with his 52 speed. Actually helps us out on the offensive line. We actually found Danny Shelton with his 49 speed to be our starting defensive tackle. So this does make for your official slowest offense and your official slowest defense. I want everybody to pause the video right now and in the comments below predict what you think this team's record is going to be this season. Honestly, if this team wins more than three games, I will be shocked. What does an invisible standings mean? So we definitely didn't win more than 10 games it looks like but did we no did we didn't make the playoffs did we not win more than five games oh no all of that to literally go 17 and 0 i mean i think the closest we got to winning was losing by five worst offense and by far the worst defense only four sacks of the entire season brian that's so bad brandon bolden might have been our best offensive player brother a long snapper a most led us in receiving. Safe to say the slowest team of all time might also be the worst team of all time. At least that was fun. Now hopefully you enjoyed even though we suck. And if you did, you can click right here to watch me build the fastest team in the NFL. And trust me guys, in this video, the team is much better than what we were here. 